this will be our finishing touch where we add the tagline, this time our website, and we will lift the entire animation to give it this fine touch at the end. And here comes the adjustment. At first, I want those dots to have another color, the same color that my logo has. Click on circular dots, go to effects, it's very simple, press Ctrl or Command and 5 and select the fill effect. That's the simplest effect you can imagine, double click on it. You don't have to go inside and change their color, you just place an effect on this entire layer and this entire layer will be recolored. I select this color with the pick whip, the color I want, ok, much much better. Once you are ready with that, please pre-compose this entire composition. Right click, pre-compose it, I have this pre-compose and I will for example call it logo pop. This is my entire logo pop animation. Now I want to also reveal a website and a tagline here. Nothing simpler than that. Let me go to the place where this animation finishes because we will work here. I click on the text tool and I'll place here www.mywebsite.com. You can select any font you want, for example Open Sans, make the font big, make the font light. You can do what you want. I'll place it perfectly in the middle by going to Align, align it in the middle and now it's under my logo. But that's not quite the animation I wanted to have. So at first I need to click on the website. I press T to open up opacity and I place a 100% keyframe here. I move it forward a bit. I go here backwards and I make zero because I want this one to fade in. I can work with the fade in like that. OK, boom. The logo comes in. The tagline flies also. It fades in the screen. Now the very last thing we want to, we want to place it a bit upwards because the animation isn't complete. The animation is nice, but it needs a little fine touch. That's why you again use new and you use a nil object. And I'll call it lifter because it will lift both those animations. I click on both, I select the pick whip and I connect it with lifter. We could also place separate keyframes here, but this way it's much much easier because the lifter in the positions tab will lift the entire composition. I'll place the keyframe at this point and as the tagline flies in it should go a little bit towards the top, for example to this place. You can decide if you like the animation or you would like to have them eased in, I'll ease them and let's preview what we achieved with this little change. We have our animation, the animation flies in and we have a nice little fine touch at the end. The cool thing now is you can work around with the logo and you will not harm any keyframe because those keyframes will work alone. And that's exactly the finalized animation we wanted to have. My last step would be selecting new, selecting a solid layer, select a color for the background. I wanted to have something gray which will work with the After Effects logo. I'll select a dark gray, maybe even a bit reddish. That's OK. OK. Place it as the last. Now I see it's a bit too bright, but I can also go inside its options and change the color or make more, more of them. I'll select a darker color and now this animation is ready. If you want this animation to take less time, you shorten this entire composition. Now if I would render this, this would have 3 seconds. A really cool and simple logo for your YouTube channel, your branding or anything you do over the internet. Thank you so much for following these lessons. I hope you did create the same animation with your twist on it. And remember, you can always recolor everything, change the keyframes, shift them around and the animation will be slightly different to your liking. You should be proud of yourself if you completed this. Thank you very much once again.